Hi, I'm Blair Collins, and on behalf of the Alberta Hospice Palliative Care Association, I want to talk to you today about the importance of the caregiver or other helping professional seeking assistance in dealing with vicarious trauma or compassion fatigue. There can be times when a caregiver is so affected by hearing the stories of trauma or witnessing the pain and suffering of another that they themselves are in need of emotional support. Most givers can find resources within the community for emotional support and most helping professionals have EAP, employee assistance packages that include benefits for emotional health. Yet there continues to be a stigma about caregivers accessing the available mental health supports for their own emotional well-being. Caregivers can feel guilty about focusing on their needs instead of the needs of their loved ones. And those in helping professionals can fear that if it was discovered in their workplace that they were accessing such emotional support, it might be held against them. What does this say about the work we do if we ourselves are afraid to receive the same kind of support that we are willing to offer our loved ones or our clients? Every professional body has its own code of ethics, most all of which speak about best practices. Foundational to the concept of best practices is bringing your best self into the work that you do. Consequently, self-care is not an indulgence, it is one's ethical responsibility in order to be the most effective in the work you do. So if you are a caregiver, find out what community resources are available to you for your own emotional support. If you are a helping professional, find out how your EAP benefits can assist you with your own mental and emotional well-being. For more information about emotional support and other life learning insights for every day, stay tuned to the Alberta Hospice Palliative Care Association's YouTube channel or visit their website at www.ahpca.ca. Is there a topic or issue you would like more information on? If so, contact Jennifer Elliott, the Executive Director of the Alberta Hospice Palliative Care Association.